What's happening, YouTube? Bickford's RS3 here. And uh, it's been a while, hasn't it? Haven't really done much. Uh, just I uh, threw the rims on, the RS3. Looking for some rims for the S5. Um, got a new sign, eh? Pretty nice. I don't know if you guys would be interested, let me know. But I am doing some body work on the Ram. I don't know if that's something you guys would be interested in. Um, let me know in the comments if uh, you want to see stuff like that. I do have a little bit more to do on it. So I'll have here to do and on the driver's door. So there's more of that. But um, today I was going to bring a review of the OBD11 that I have. It's, uh, it's come in clutch quite a few times. Um, Right, so that's the bad boy there. Little, little guy, RS3, up in this. She goes down in there. Boom. Like that. But uh, I'll just, uh, I'll screen record what everything that I'm showing you and just put it on beside here, you know, something like that. Something, something like that. And then, uh, yeah, let's get into her. So, once uh, you got her plugged in, you just you push the connect and she'll connect and everything. The main reason you're going to want one of these is to reset your service interval that pops up. Every like 15,000 kilometers or whatever, 10,000 miles. So, boom, I got the screen recording. You're gonna to wanna to connect to your vehicle, obviously, and then you can, it'll run a scan. You can scan your vehicle. It will pop up something like this. Uh, it'll have all your, you know, whatever's going on there. Usually there's always one for um, your MMI for not having your satellite uh, internet. Or... So yeah, the main one you're gonna be going into once you scan your vehicle is gonna be uh, apps. And then if you head over to workshop, you can do TPMS reset, service reset. Uh, you can test your actuators, lock test, um, check your oil type. You can do SAS calibration, uh, your oil service, uh, inspection service. You can do matrix calibration. You can do a lot um, through the workshops and uh, the apps. So like, yeah, the main one's gonna be your inspection service down here at the bottom, oil service reset, um, brake pads. But uh, see these, the 10, 10 coins? I only have three coins. So you have to pay for a lot of that, which uh, you can actually go, you can bypass by going into each control module and uh, once you're in there you can find adaptations and you can change stuff through there so I'll show you brakes for if you're gonna do your rear brakes you would go into either basic settings or adaptation so there's a bunch of tests in here um, so I don't think it's in there I think it's in adaptation and then, do, do, do. I think there's a search at the top and you can just uh, search it. But actually this rough road optimization, if you turn that off, that'll actually increase your like zero to 60 times. Uh, yeah, I don't actually see the one that I did, but I'll show you, I have it saved. In my history here so um, yeah so I went into apps I went into brake pad replacement and then um, oh that's just to archive it my bad but um, yeah so like right here I opened it so I could replace my pads and then closed it uh, when everything was done and then I just reset all the basic adaptations 
I just realized that I messed up when I was showing you the breaks. That was actually through the app, so I did pay with credits through those. But this is the proper way to do it. You would click on your in control units up here at the top. So what we do is uh, click breaks, adaptation. And the reason why I didn't see it is because it was like a weird long electro magnetical mechanical parking brake. This one here. And then you would be able to click it. I'm not connected to my car right now, but you would be able to click this and turn it off and then turn it on or in and out, whatever. But yeah, sorry about that. My bad. Fucked it up. For the all-wheel drive, that was when I did a service on the rear brakes. I just lubed everything up. Um, another cool feature you can do is charts. So like you're logging your car, essentially. The only thing is it doesn't save your parameters that you pick so you have to select them every time and it's a huge list so it is kind of annoying but if you don't have anything else this really does work and help to find like boost leaks or um i actually i found my um here i'll turn the camera around i uh i found the soft code for my exhaust flaps boom way down there um it didn't pop up in the dash or anything but if you scan the car it pops up and that actually limits some power so I fixed it, it was a splice in the wire uh, on the driver's side going to the actuator. And uh, yeah, this, this little gizmo here helped, helped me find it. Um, and then there's other features that you can do um, for like cosmetics. You know, you can change your um, blinkers, you can add if you don't have like your gears, like one, two, three, four beside your drive, you can add that in there. Um, you know, you can adjust parking lights, you can adjust your tone, you can turn off your actuators. There's just a lot of different things you can do. There is a lot of glare, so I will post the video of the screen. Um, yeah, so if you don't have any scanners, I would recommend getting one of these for um, your Audi. It does help. I am going to be getting a... Um, like a high quality universal scanner shortly. So I'll, I'll do a little bit of a review on that when I get it. And um, the features in the control units will vary from car to car. Like the S5 that isn't here right now, she just went to crappy tire. Um, it doesn't have as many features. You can do stuff. I did quite a few things, but um, Finding live data, it didn't actually have like uh, to check like timing change stretch, so it didn't have that uh, feature. So that's why I was gonna get a uh, a better scanner. It's called Topped On, so I'll let you know how it is. Um, man, that's really zoomed in. And um, yeah, hopefully that helped. It I would give it like a uh, four out of five, four and a half out of five. It it only works for VW Audi Group. So like, you know, your Skoda and all that. Um, you do have to pay for the credits now. You used to be able to get them for free every day you logged in, but they changed that. So yeah, you have to buy the credits. I do have the premium or professional version. So um, I might have some features that you don't like the charts, like the, the logging. But uh, yeah, besides that, hopefully that helped you out. It's a little bit of content. It's not that long. It's like maybe 10 minutes. Um, I'll probably do like a review of the S5 soon. Um, maybe today before work or after work. I got I got called in, so I gotta go go into work. But um, yeah, it was good chatting with you guys. If you have any recommendations for content, let me know. I do have a couple parts I gotta slap on this RS3. Um, I got a four inch inlet that I gotta put on. I just uh, haven't had time and this is taking up my garage room and I'll see you guys soon. Peace out. OBD 11.